All right, Shalom. I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh Shai, Bashim, Rakakwadash. Double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well. Salutations to the Lord's whole four elect, scattered abroad, teaching his word of sincerity and truth. Shalom. All right, on the Brother Ties of War, back at you again with another lesson. And the uh, title of this lesson will be Give It All You Got. Give It All You Got. And this is, uh, you know, I say that to myself first, then to the Akim, the hopeful elect, brothers out there pushing, you know, give it all you got, meaning go hard for the Lord. You know, what is there else to live for at this moment? You know, everything is not the way it used to be, so it shouldn't be those distractions when you was distracted before. You know, we of the flesh, sometimes we get distracted, but we know our main goal is to put the Lord first, all right? So at this very moment in time, give it all you got. You know, this week in camp, you know, it was said, uh, you know, in this camp, I had made mention of, uh, you know, saying um, uh, we need to cash out. You know, we need to cash out, meaning cash your money out in the bank. And that's uh, for the brothers, you know, who got the word, who's able to teach and edify. You know, we're cashing our money into the bank. And Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is that bank. You know, the scriptures say uh, faith is the evidence of things not seen. Okay. And um, we of the hopeful elect, we, we visualize Yahweh Shai returning as he told us in his word, in his gospel, that he would come with a reward, you know, if we hold on to the faith. So really there's nothing else and really no excuse. Also, uh, due to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, Apostle Tahar, he uh, upped the standards a few weeks ago about, you know, doing a video a day. And um, that's just to further you uh, and help you grow in the truth. You know, Apostle Tahar is, is uh, through the Spirit, is, uh, you know, helping you to to uh, give diligence to make your call in an election sure. You know, we don't know if we the elect, but we give that diligence and the work to believe that we are. You know, it's all about faith. And uh, that's what Satan comes to do is to, um, to taint your faith, you know, to pull the faith away from you, you know, so that you you lose. But we know we're going to win. All right, no matter how the eyes are stacked up against us and the ways of this world is not for us, remember Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah is right there to, to guide us. Matter of fact, in 2nd Edge 16, he says, uh, you know, he will be the guide of them who keep his, his precepts. All right, the guide, you know, the instruction manual. He will be the guide of them who keep his precepts. So if we keep his precepts and commandments, you know, we must strive, you know, to our perfection, which is giving it, giving it all we have. You know, eventually they're going to cut these videos off and eventually life around you is going to get serious. I mean, it's serious now, but it's going to get real, you know, it's going to get real. And it's going to be a time to just have faith and believe in the Lord. We're all going to be tested and tried. So while we have this opportunity right now to give it all we got i will want to give it all i got you know cash out to where i could say i've done everything that i could do at least to the best of my ability you know and that's praying that's just not you know doing shows and lessons but you know praying you know even keeping the laws more tighter holding holding yourself to it holding it keeping it right rehearsing it right the righteously you know uh uh being more humble Examining yourself and, you know, for the younger brothers uh, that are not a part of the camp but watch and you come across the videos and you're getting edified by the videos through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, you know, you may not have the word the way you want it yet, but keep pushing, you know, take it, take it easy, all right? Learn first, study more of the lessons, jot down the precepts, you know, and, and study more. And then we also, when you're doing your shows, keep your shows uh, real short, you know, and uh, that's another way of studying. All right. So anyway, let's read Joshua 1 and 9. It says, have not I commanded thee? Be strong 
and of good courage. Be not afraid, neither be thou dismayed, for Yahweh thy power is with thee, whithersoever thou goest. So wherever we are going, wherever we end up at, remember, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh is there. You know, the scriptures say you can't hide from the Lord. There's nothing that the Lord doesn't know about. Okay, he knows the inventions of the evil heart, of the wicked. He knows the good intentions and sincerity of his hopeful elect. And the Heavenly Father is, uh, you could say, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh is even getting put to a test because, you know, he's been this sort of invisible power. But those who have faith knows that he's in, his pre in our presence. But it's coming a time where Yahweh Bashem Yahweh is going to show his marvelous works with his power. All right. Things that are going to happen that, you know, they will call supernatural. You know, these things are going to happen, but in the midst of us going through the heat, you know, the strong, cold heat, all right, of Jacob's trouble, you know, things are going to happen and we have to be of what? Good courage. Now, you go into this word courage. It's a beautiful word. Uh, it has a lot to it. You know, words that you can get into, you know, to further edify. So, so I give him that. Okay, courage. So the Hebrew word there is uh, amatazah. Amatazah. All right. Now, it says uh, to be strong, alert, courageous, brave, shout, uh, bold, solid, hard. So we want to be what? To be strong, alert. We want to be alert so that we're strong. You know, when something is taking you by... Uh, by blindness, you get knocked over, you know. But Yahweh Shai said that um, that he is no need for him to write unto us for ourselves, no purpose leads that the day of the Lord so cometh as a thief in the night. All right, we're the children of light, so we're we're enlightened to know what's going on. You know, all praise Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai for that, because uh, remember, the Lord could have gave this to someone else and not you. So to be enlightened. To know the times and knowing that two thirds of the Lord people can't see what's going on, you know you gotta you gotta believe in the Lord and and be thankful that you're able to see, you're able to have that that eyesight, that insight. So it says courageous. You want to be courageous. That don't mean be a a, a a a courageous nut, you know, who just runs into the fire. Okay, courageous and brave and holding firm. And strong in the Lord. It says brave, shout, bold, solid, hard, to be strong, brave, bold. You know, it's gonna take us to be bold when we're faced in adversity. All right. When the eyes are stacked against us and we have to bow our head and be as a, a lamb. You know, you're gonna have to be brave because if you're not uh brave, you're gonna cowardly turn and run to save your life. But Yahweh Shai said. You know, when you, you know, leave the Lord and 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 uh, do things into your own your own way, you know, He says you're gonna just you're gonna lose your life. You know, but if we lose our life for Yahweh Shai's sake, we shall find our life. And necessarily, with that, you know, now that means that you're gonna perish, you're gonna die. You know, just in the moment, you gotta you know think about these things in some situations. Not everybody's situation is gonna be the same. But you think about it, you know, we're, we're stronger when we're weak. We're going to be tried. Some brothers' cases, you're going to be, you know, cast into prison and, you know, you in there, you're thinking that's it, you know, ready to go, ready to get on a chariot, you know, knowing that these devils are going to put you to death. And then just so happen, you know, that that miracle, Yahweh Shai is uh, relieving you from your chains as it was in the past with certain prophets. So that's the Lord trying you. And knowing that, you know, you was willing to give up your life so the Lord saved your life. You know, so some of these things you got to just meditate, you know, and pray. Pray in the Lord and just meditate when you can. Humble yourself to the scriptures. And like I said, I say this before myself first, you know, in hopes to share this, to strengthen brothers. So it says to strengthen, secure for oneself. So you need to secure for oneself. And that's your mind. 
you have to be convinced in your own mind. All right. When the guys that are playing along just want to be a part of the camp because they feel like, you know, this is the thing. They in it. They're around the men of the Lord, you know, that they just automatically going to be saved. No, you got to do your own work and you're going to have to secure your own mind yourself. We all got to walk that straight gate. You know, the scriptures say one after another, roughly paraphrasing. You know, we can't just walk side by side. We're going through the fire one by one, you know, in our own journey, in our own uh, lot, so to say. It says heart and heart. You know, you want to harden your heart. Well, the Lord is going to harden your heart, all right? Meaning you're going to be cold to things, man. You're not going to be so afraid of and afraid. When you see dead bodies left and right, when you approach, when the Satan himself is approaching you, he in your face, he got you hemmed up. He's going to harden your heart. You want to have a hardened heart in that time so you can uh, get through the adversity. It says make firm, make obstinate. Now, when you go into this word here, obstinate, it says if you describe someone as obstinate, you are being critical of them because they are very determined to do what they want. And what is it that we do what we want? Is all through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. It's really not of us. It's of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. All right? Not, not going into the ways of Esau and taking a vaccine or a microchip. All right? So it's really, when you say, you describe someone as obstinate, you are being critical. All right? There's one thing about them. This, this thing about them, right? Of them because they are very determined. They're very determined. That's someone that's very determined in one way. You know, you got the wicked way, which is someone that's carnal, determined. And you got a man that is spiritual, which is of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah. He's determined. It says to do what they want and refuse to change their mind and to be persuaded to do something else. Disapproval. So the Lord's elect are not persuaded to do something else. You know, this word is a, is a, uh, it's a song that's everlasting. It goes on and on. A lot of people who get, you know, bored because they heard the same precepts and topics. Well, guess what? This, this word is repetitive. It's to keep being told. It's to remind you. Remember, the spirit of Jake is hard-headed and stiff-necked people. Even us, in the truth. You know, at times the flesh could get the be best of you and brothers get hard-headed. That flesh take over, but the Lord's elect will shake it off eventually. He get reproved, rebuked, and he shake it off, and now he's better. You know, so that's uh, obstinate, the determined and will not to give up. Ooh, all right. So we want to be obstinate, you know, and determined and will not to give up. You know, giving up right now while things are not as, you know, so bad yet. You know, you just weak, you know. Well, scriptures say you was never of the Lord. All right. Because here's the time of your liberty. And you can give it all you got, but you're not giving it all you got. You're still playing the fence, you know, going along to get along, being in um, motion of things and really just exercising your talents. You know, the parable speaks to that. Though God, one guy, he hid the talent in a napkin, you know, another one, uh, you know, I, I could get it. I don't want to butcher it, but, you know, that parable. So, uh. It says to uh, be determined, to make oneself alert, strengthen oneself, confirm oneself, persistent, prove superior to. It says to exhibit strength, be strong, feel strong. And these are all the things we want to be. To exhibit strength, be strong, feel strong in the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. Not in the things that we possess, you know, like guys out here getting guns and Stacking up on food because you got all this food and you've been stockpiling for a year now. You think you more, you know, you're confident and putting trust in that. But guess what? That's that's not that's the wrong spirit. To exhibit strength, be strong, feel strong in the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shai. All right, so let's move along. It says, Have not I commanded thee to be strong and of good courage? Be not afraid. Remember the scriptures say the Lord will give us the spirit of fear. It says, neither be thou dismayed, for Yahweh thy power is with thee, whether soever thou goest. So wherever we go, the Lord is with us. 
You know, the Lord is with us now. You know, he's not going to forsake us in that time of trouble. You know, it's all to get, show that power in the Lord. And the Lord is showing his power through his elect. Okay, first, to be strong, to show you that great faith for others to believe. The other elect to wake up in that hour. And also the Lord is going to show his power among Esau when he destroyed Esau and basically use Esau as a sacrifice, as is written. All right. Um, let's get another scripture real quick. Okay, let's go to uh, Philippians 4 and 4. It says, Rejoice in the Lord always. And again, I say rejoice. So he said it twice. So you remember, rejoice in the Lord always. And again, I say rejoice. Let your, let your moderation be known unto all men. The Lord is at hand. Be careful for nothing, but in everything by prayer and supplication and with thanksgiving, let your requests be known unto the Most High. So now is the time to pray. You know, it's always been the time to pray, but now it's time to, to buckle up, lock in, lock in. You know, what are you waiting on? Give it all you got. Tell the Lord how you feel. You know, what are you afraid of? Ask the Lord to strengthen you. You know, what, what, are, you what, what, what are you strong in? Continue, you know, ask the Lord to continue to be strong. You know, brothers know, to, know what you need to do. That's between you and the Lord. It says, verse 7, And the peace of Yahweh which pass of all understanding shall keep your hearts and minds through Yahweh Shah Mashiach. So our minds are going to be kept in the way that it is now, but be more intensified and more faithful. You know, you know, we want to have strong faith, faith as a grain of a mustard seed, faith that can move mountains. You know, that nothing is impossible. You know, believing in the Lord, and we're going to shock. It's going to shock the hell out of these two thirds and the ones that are non-believers. It's going to shock the hell out of them. You know, it's going to, it's going to amaze them. You know, they're going to be shameful for uh, not believing and not listening, for despising this truth. All right, let's move on. This is uh, this is uh, First Peter five and six. It says, "Humble yourself, therefore, under the mighty hand of Yahweh, that He may exhort you in due time." So humble yourself. Right now is the time to humble yourself greatly. You know, it means to examine, think. As Apostle Gabar say from time to time, think. You know, he say, I think he say the saying, you know, when you do bad, you think. When you do good, you, you continue to do. Roughly, you know, roughly saying, you know, brothers who watch the apostles, you know. Uh, it says, humble yourselves, therefore, under the mighty hand of Yahweh. That he may exhort you in due time. And we want to be exhorted. You know, not exhorted carnally today. Being this superstar, super Israelite. Uh, you know, all these fucking terms. These demon Israelites got today. Uh, he, uh, I don't know. What is it called? Brew. Whatever that shit is. We want to be exhorted to safety. We want to be exhorted when times get bad. That we able to eat. We want to be exhorted. You know, to the point where the Lord is looking down on us and willing to save us. That's the exhort we want. When this place fall, we, we, we rise. All right. As long as Esau continue to stand, we on the bottom. It says, casting all your care upon him, for he careth for you. So now is the time to cast all your care. You know, Jake love to wait so late to the moment, you know, and then think about and regret all the things they wish they should have did. Well, let's not be those that regret, you know, let's, let's uh, give it all you got. You know, when you're working hard, you probably be, a, you know, you might work out, you're doing them last reps, you're going, you're pushing it, ah, letting the energy out, you know what I'm saying? You may have played ball, basketball, football, and as a team, y'all hustled hard to the end of the game, and you left it all on the field. You left it all on the court. You went home. You were so sore. You know, you was aching and paining, but you was happy that you gave it all you got, whether you won the game or you lost. And guess what? After that, you more increased. You know, I've learned that in, uh, back in school, 
when you work that hard and, and you soar and you really give it all you got, when you recover from your soreness, you're greater at what you're doing than you was from the before. And you don't realize that you leveled up. So we want to level up, you know, get by giving it all we have now, casting, uh, cashing out in the bank, you know, which is uh, toward Yahweh Bashim Yahushua, our works in the Lord. You know, it's sort of like when um, you want to be able to, you know, call on the Lord in a time of trouble, you know, and the Lord look at your works and say, all right, yeah, definitely. I need to be there quick. You know, we want the Lord to be with us at all at all times, man. Call immediately. When we call, we want it immediately, you know, even though we know the trial we have to go through. But that's the, the zeal we want to have in um, calling upon the Lord. You know, especially in the time of Jacob's trouble. So it says, verse 8, be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary, the devil, as a roaring lion walking about seeking whom he may uh, devour. And Satan is, you know, he's devouring right now is this moment, playing upon your mind, you know, and you want to make some money through this crisis, this so-called pandemic, this scandemic, you know, and or you got other things, whatever what it is. You know, Satan is there to to uh, to trap you, to trick you, you know, to let you not cash out, you know, to not go hard for the Lord. Give it all you got. You know, I don't want to you don't want to regret, man. It says be sober, be vigilant, you know, because your adversary, the devil, as a roaring lion, walk up about seeking whom he may devour. Remember, Satan wanted to shift Peter like wheat, you know. So, I just hope this lesson is edifying. I'm going to end it there. Um, I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Rakakwadash, double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well. Salutations to the Lord's elect. Shalom.